Top 10 Amazing Runouts in Cricket History Ever Number 10 During the second ODI of Sri Lanka's tour of India on October 28, 2005, Sri Lankan's Chaminda Vas was run out by a direct hit from Indian bowler Ajit Agarkar when Maharuf was batting with Vas. Maharuf pushed the ball towards point region and set off for a quick, impossible run. Agarkar ran in quickly, picked up the ball and threw it accurately at the stumps, in the non-striker's end. Number 9 During the first ODI of Pakistan's tour of Sri Lanka in 2009, which was played in Dimbulla on July 30, 2009. The incident occurred in the 43rd over of Pakistan's innings, when Muhammad Amir hit hard a delivery from Lasith Malingas. Mahela Jayawadeen, who was fielding at Point Region, quickly ran towards the ball, picked it up cleanly, and threw it back towards the stumps at the non-striker's end. It was a brilliant piece of fielding by Jayawadeen, who had to make a quick decision and execute a pinpoint accurate throw under pressure. Number 8. Kevin Peterson took an outstanding direct hit run out during the fourth ODI of England's Tour of New Zealand in 2008, which was played in Napier. The incident occurred in the 45th over of New Zealand's innings, when Jamie Howe played a delivery from Paul Collingwood towards the onside and set off for a quick single. Peterson, who was fielding at mid-on, quickly ran towards the ball, picked it up cleanly, and threw it back towards the stumps at the non-striker's end with a strong and accurate throw. The ball hit the stumps directly. Number 7 During the first test match of the West Indies Tour of South Africa in 2007, which was held in Port Elizabeth, A.B. de Villiers of South Africa took an outstanding direct hit run out. In the West Indies' first innings, Chantapal had played a forward defense shot towards short leg and attempted to take a quick single. However, A.B. de Villiers, fielding at short cover, quickly picked up the ball and threw it down at the striker's end to run Darren Sammy out. A.B. de Villiers' quick reflexes and accurate throw resulted in a brilliant run out, which showcased his exceptional fielding skills. Number 6. Total International Series Pakistan vs South Africa 7th match at Centurion February 21, 1993. The incident occurred in the 39th over of Pakistan's innings, when Salim Malik played the pull shot, a delivery from Faina de Villiers. Andrew Hudson, who was fielding at deep mid-wicket, quickly ran towards the ball, picked it up cleanly and threw it back towards the stumps at the non-striker's end with a strong and accurate throw, from near the boundary line. The ball hit the stumps directly. It was a magnificent piece of fielding by Hudson, who had to cover a lot of ground and throw accurately from a long distance to effect the runout. During the first test match of India's tour of South Africa in December 1996, which was held in Durban from December 26, there was a notable fielding incident involving Adam Bakker of South Africa. He made an outstanding effort by taking a direct hit run out at short leg region. Indian second innings, when Javagal Srinath was batting with Rahul Dravid, Srinath pushed the ball towards at mid-wicket region and attempted to take quick runs, but Adam Bakker quickly picked up the ball cleanly and then he threw the ball to the stump at short leg position. Number 4 During the second ODI of Sri Lanka's tour of New Zealand on February 3, 2001, Kumar Dharmasena was run out by a direct hit from New Zealand captain Stephen Fleming. The incident occurred in the 47th over of Sri Lanka's innings when Russell Arnold was batting with Dharmasena. 
Russell pushed the ball towards that point region and attempted to take a quick single, but Stephen Fleming ran in quickly from the field and picked up the ball cleanly, then he threw the ball. The ball hit the stumps directly in striker's end. It was a stunning diving throw from him. Number three. During the first ODI of Australia's tour of Pakistan in 1998, which was played in Karachi on November 6, 1998, the incident occurred in the ninth over of Australia's innings, when Mark Waugh played a delivery from Wasim Akram towards the offside and set off for quick runs. Salim Elahi, who was fielding at third man, quickly ran towards the ball, picked it up cleanly, and threw it back towards the stumps at the striker's end with a strong and accurate throw. The ball hit the stumps directly. It was a magnificent piece of fielding by Salim Elahi, who had to cover a lot of ground and throw accurately from a long distance to affect the runout. Number 2. Australia played a test series in Pakistan in October 2002, and the third test of that series was played in Sharjah. During that match, Australian off-spinner Nathan Howritz took an outstanding direct hit runout with a long throw from long on to dismiss Pakistani batsman Faisal Iqbal. In the seventh over of the innings, Faisal Iqbal played a shot towards long on and set off for a quick runs. The fielder, who was Nathan Howritz, ran quickly towards the ball, picked it up cleanly, and threw it back towards the stumps at the non-striker's end with a strong and accurate throw. The ball hit the stumps directly, catching Faisal Iqbal short of his ground and resulting in a run out. It was a superb piece of fielding by Howritz. Number one. During the first ODI of England's tour of New Zealand in 2002, which was played in Christchurch on February 13, 2002, the incident occurred in the 29th over of England's innings, when Graham Thorpe played the leg glance shot, a delivery from Daryl Tuffy. Craig McMillan, who was fielding at deep fine leg, quickly ran towards the ball, picked it up cleanly, and threw it back towards the stumps at the striker's end with a strong and accurate throw, from the boundary line. The ball hit the stumps directly. It was a magnificent piece of fielding by McMillan, who had to cover a lot of ground and throw accurately from a long distance to effect the runout. <laughs>